Hi, I'm Karen Quinn, co-founder of TestingMom.com, and let me guess, you've got a young child who will soon be taking the COGAT, or Cognitive Abilities Test, and you're worried. How will she do? One of the best ways to make sure your child does well on the COGAT and gets into the gifted program you want for him is to do practice questions ahead of time. The COGAT can be a pretty difficult test. For example, on the COGAT Form 7, even kindergartners have to solve paper folding puzzles where they look at a diagram of a piece of paper that's folded and then has holes punched in it. The child has to figure out what that piece of paper will look like when it's unfolded. Here, the first answer is correct. Can you imagine asking a five-year-old to do that for the first time on a test where the results will impact such an important placement decision? The COGAT also has figural classification questions, where the child has to figure out which figure below the line belongs with the figures above the line. In this example, the first answer is correct. These can be tough for young kids who are seeing them for the first time. There are number puzzles for young children, which are essentially mathematical equations the child has to solve using pictures. In this one, the third answer is correct. And there are number series questions, where children must determine what the pattern or rule is and then choose which abacus piece comes next. Here, the third answer is correct. These are just a few examples of the types of questions that are on the COGAT. Obviously, the questions get harder as children go up in grade levels.